okay, don't pay attention to me if I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm going to be doing my makeup. And actually, I wish you could see it because I'm filming right in front of like my the backyard light and my puppy's right there and he's like so cute. He's at the same length of the camera. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, The Minimalist. This is a different kind of video. I've never done a get ready with me video before, but seeing that I have a lot of chores to do around the house, I just figured it'd be easier if I just got ready and made a video with you and talked to you about some things. This is my face. It's actually looking better. I have pretty severe acne sometimes. Right now it's doing all right, but it's not the greatest, so I try to cover it up sometimes with makeup when I feel like it. So I figured we could start talking about YouTubers. Since I've been on a hiatus, I was working a lot and I didn't get to film videos, but I did get to watch YouTube and I would do that actually every morning. I just put and place my phone on the vanity mirror, just kind of looking. Oh, my puppy, she's she's crying. <laughs> I would place my camera on the vanity mirror and just do my makeup while I was doing that, so might as well try making a YouTube video while doing my makeup. Yeah, <laughs> I look so silly. Look at me. <laughs> so I thought I'd discuss that. This is really hard. People make it seem so easy to talk about this while doing your makeup not when you're just talking to yourself. So I think the person I've been subscribed to the longest is Close Encounters, Jen M. I love her channel so much. I think she does a great variety of videos, not just fashion, but also makeup. She does travel vlogs. She does regular monthly vlogs. She just has a way of making you feel like you're her best friend even though I don't know her I just feel like I'm talking to a friend and it's hilarious because I feel like in real life we wouldn't have ever really interacted all that much because she is so fashion oriented I'm just not very fashion a fashionable person but she inspires me to do that kind of stuff or she's kind of like my ideal she speaks with such um, clarity she is really eloquent. I love the way she describes the clothes that she's wearing. And she just, she's a really lovable gal. I love, of course, the kings of YouTube. I love the Vlog Brothers. I will say I haven't been a lifelong nerd fighterian or a nerd fighter because I think I came on the bandwagon a little bit late, but I really love their content. And I'm gonna lump these two together. I especially love Crash Course. Well, it saved my butt in college sometimes. I just love their unique humor. I listen to their podcast, Dear Hank and John. I kind of go to them when I want to see what their comments are about the world and what's going on. I was first interested in John for some reason because I only saw him so much. And he also did uh, World History and U.S. History, which is my bread and butter. So I was always watching his videos on Crash Course and going more towards his videos on Vlogbrothers, but I really like Hank because of his unique humor. I didn't realize this, but a lot of people think that John is a little high and mighty and then Hank's just kind of like the really relatable guy, which I think is funny and I think they think that's pretty funny. I just enjoy their banter with each other. I love the concept of their channel, having that connection over the internet for a decade now, which I think is pretty awesome that you could keep it up for so long. Right now on Crash Course, I love the film class and the mythology class, especially the mythology class, because that, oh, it's it's great. I just love it. I have nothing but praise for the Vlog Brothers. And just a fair warning, I don't put this much amount of makeup on all the time. I did for work, and um, because when my skin was really bad, this was the only way I felt like confident enough to like cover it up. I'm usually comfortable in my own skin, but, not when I have to show face at work. The next YouTuber that I really, really love, and I've been subscribed to her for a while, is Hannah Witten. I think she is an awesome gal. I love how much she talks about, um, you know, sex he health, sex history, you know, safe practices. She does it in a really fun way. I know there are other, like, sex, like, educator sort of YouTubers out there, but she's really my favorite. Um, I think also because she majored in history like I did at university and college. I, I love her commentaries, I love watching her favorites videos. I think I should put this out there because I don't think I mentioned it before, but I'm really selective when I decide to watch YouTubers because 
I I kind of I kind of shop around for YouTubers to see like what content I like best and like if there's a topic out there I think that one YouTuber covers better than the other I kind of subscribe to that so I pick my favorites and then I will follow them not that I don't support other YouTube YouTubers it's weird because I wouldn't think anybody would say my YouTube channel is their favorite channel I just, I don't know why I'm so picky. I just, I guess because I don't want to be bombarded by so much content because I do subscribe to a good number of YouTubers out there. Um, some that are active, some that are not active anymore. I think Hannah does a really good job of explaining a lot of stuff. I love how she gets excited about it the content that she's talking about because I think that's really rare to find where she's really excited about it but she doesn't do it in a very condescending way so I feel like her way of explaining things, way of talking about things and having a good conversation is applicable to everyone. She can really reach out to a lot of other people when I because I feel like sometimes other people it's a little bit more scientific, it's a little bit more oh you really shouldn't do this, you really shouldn't think this, it's like no 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 this is what you should be thinking. I feel like she just kind of puts the information out there and she kind of guides you to her way of thinking but then I don't know she's just she's really great and the first video I ever saw of her do I look like a slut video which I found on like an Upworthy link and from there on I've been a subscriber to her. I'm trying to do like, I don't know, like bake. I watched a lot of RuPaul in the past couple of months, so it's just like. Psh, 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 psh. So I guess the next one, lovely turn, is the Sorry Girls. Um, they are DIY YouTubers and all around cute uh, pals and cute friends. They're almost at a million subscribers, which I'm really excited for them because I think they're really great girls and they're really fun, they're really honest, and I just, I applaud them for doing all of these DIY stuff because they are really the Pinterest kind of queens. And so it's just neat to see how much they've changed over the years. I believe they were film students, and then they just kind of, this is their full-time job now, is doing DIYs for YouTube, which is pretty cool. It's nice to dream that I could do all the work that they do, even though I know I can't because I have not enough resources. Mostly I don't have the time and sometimes it's the patience of doing stuff. So I like their motto that if it's easier to buy it than to DIY it or if it's cheaper to buy it than DIY it, do that. But if not, you know, try to DIY it. Love it when they go to thrift stores and everything. So the Sorry Girls, really love them. One of my best friends in the entire world, Cassie Casillas, has her own YouTube channel and it is called Cassie Casillas. It used to be called Sea of Trees. If this is a really old video, you won't know what I'm talking about, but uh, Cassie had changed her name to Sea of Trees, but now it's back to Cassie Casillas. And every time she uploads a video, you know, as a good best friend, I will watch it, but I love watching her videos because she and I live um, separately. She lives all the way in Seattle, and I miss her a lot, so it's nice to see her videos and know that she's alive, she's doing well. I mean, we text like all the time. I'm like a proud mama. Like, She started doing YouTube videos uh, a little bit after I started doing YouTube videos, but she has put in so much time and dedication into each video she does. Her editing skills have gotten really, really well. You should check out her channel. She's such a genuinely wonderful person. She's always like a great adventure buddy. I love her to bits and pieces and she does a lot of kind of like vlogging lifestyle videos. You never know what you're gonna get and she's a great artist. She does wonderful watercolors and she has some of those videos up there. And also she has some videos of me when we were still living in the same city. So. If you like my content, you should go check out her channel, Love Cassie, and I'm actually going to visit her soon. I'm so excited. I've never been to Seattle, so I'm so excited to go see her. I'm about to put eyeliner on, so I probably can't talk while I'm doing that. And I can't do the whole, oh, look at this. I have to pull my eye. Does that look awful? This is going to be interesting just trying to talk to you while this side of my eyeliner dry. So those are my top five. I have some honorable mentions that I like to watch when I see their videos, but sometimes I get 
a little far behind, but then I'll catch up. First one is Simply Kenna. A lot of people who subscribe to her subscribe to her because of her Disney story of working at Disneyland and everything. She always addresses her backlash, like people not thinking that she's very authentic. I really like her for um, the sole purpose that she really loves Halloween and I like when she talks about all that stuff, but also that she is the hipster vibe that I am like being deprived of in my life. I used to live in Austin, Texas. That is a very like liberal, laid back, hipster city. I always miss that vibe, so she's like my daily dose of hipster, which I call, and I think she would hate that terminology from me. You know, she's just herself, and it's really nice because at the same time, I don't know if like we would be friends in real life, but I think sometimes her perspective about a lot of stuff is refreshing. And she dresses amazingly. I love her outfits. If I was as petite as she was, I probably could pull it off. But as we have already mentioned, I have no style at all. Okay, next set of eyes, gotta do that. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so bad. Why is this not working? Okay, you know what, this is just, I give up. This one is just not gonna work today. The next YouTuber that I really like to watch is Lucy Moon. She is a friend of Hannah Witten and a lot of other awesome girl YouTubers over in England. And I really enjoy her content. I'm pretty new to it, but she's done a lot of work over the past several years that she's been on YouTube because she used to be Meow, it's Lucy but now she's just Lucy Moon. I really came to, for her vlogs. I really like her aesthetic. I think she's really um, open about a lot of stuff. She studied history at university. I just think she's a pretty honest person and I can relate to her and I feel like she's a friend because she is, you know, she talks blatantly about what she's going through. I think that's pretty bold, pretty brave. And she does try to put out a lot of content on YouTube and I like it when she tries to be really creative with her content and I know she enjoys that. So I'm glad I enjoy watching that. Well, is this like really an honorable mention because they're not youtubers anymore they originally called YouTube hits it was a radio program in Australia starring um, Marty and Michael and now that's the channel's name is called Marty and Michael every single video on that channel puts a smile on my face Marty and Michael are so hilarious and I was going through a really rough time when I started watching their videos they just guaranteed that I didn't think about what was going on in my life. I was just watching them and their antics and they're so funny and their love for Luxembourg because they had people who were subscribed to them from Luxembourg. I'm really sad because their radio show got canceled because it was a year long experiment for them. But then once the radio channel disbanded, they're like, well, we can put more effort into the video. So good news, bad news, we are not going to be radio program anymore, but we still will be a YouTube channel, which I was excited about. About. I was hoping a lot more people would be excited about it too, but then about like I'd say September they uploaded their last video I'm pretty disappointed about that because I love their channel so much and I wanted to see more content from them Just their antics are always so funny to go back and watch after you haven't seen it for a while So if you ever need a good laugh and just seeing Australian guys just do really hilarious shenanigans you need to watch their channel and I miss them so much Ugh, why did their channel have to die I hope this was an interesting like first get ready with me video I know it's not about Disney a lot of my stuff hasn't been about Disney because I haven't watched new movies I haven't caught up with a lot of stuff that's going on with Disney all bad every youtuber who takes like little hiatus is like, life gets in the way and I have a job or I have this awesome opportunity, I'm moving, you know, the regular um, stuff that YouTubers say and I am like no big YouTuber, I don't have triple digit subscribers. I have you lovely people and I appreciate and admire all of you. While I was away from YouTube myself making YouTube videos, I wasn't away from the content that's being created that I love and watch and there's a ton of other YouTubers out there that I did not mention. My preferences in, subs in YouTubers, they come from a variety of things and I haven't mentioned like a lot of makeup people which there's one girl I really like or um, about video content or about self-confidence and I also don't really go towards famous youtubers like super famous youtubers it's not that big youtubers are ingenuous they're not genuine people or they're not authentic people they are but you know that's their livelihood on an enormous scale and I'm just like 
what I think the biggest person I mentioned were the vlog brothers, which I mean come on they created VidCon and everything. I do like a lot of smaller YouTubers. I don't know, I'm going on a ramble, but yeah, this is my hair. This is not my natural hair, if you can tell, because I had it in a French braid overnight and for most of the day. So look at me. Bam! Should I put lipstick on? This is Berlin from uh, NYX. In my NYX lipstick review, I said I didn't like Berlin because I thought it was too brown. I have since changed my mind. I love it. I know it's summer, but I don't like a lot of pinky colors because I'm a really white person and I got a lot of like red, rosy undertones if I'm gonna talk about it technically, I guess. I look awesome. I think love yourself, self love. I haven't put on this much makeup or have taken the time to do my hair like this in quite a while. Mmm. Yep. But thank you guys for watching on um, The Minimalist. Uh, tell me who your favorite YouTubers are. I'm always looking for good recommendations. It's a great big world that YouTube is out there and you're always exploring new YouTubers every day. Those who are famous, who aren't famous. If you're watching my little video, you must really love YouTube. So please let me know who you aspire especially love. I will see you guys pretty soon in another video. Please remember to like and subscribe for more Disney related content or chatty non-Disney related content, which seems to be the case recently. And I will see you guys very soon. Okay? Bye. So guys, this is my puppy. She's 14 years old. She's the one who was whimpering in the video. This is Lolly. She's a senior citizen, deaf and blind, and, and she's a little dachshund. And I know she looks a little beaten, but she's she's cute. This turned into an accidental promo, but please adopt senior puppies. They are so sweet. They're so cute. They don't have as much energy if you're a young person and you have a lot of stuff to do. And they're just they're just cuddle buddies. Say hi Lily. Hi. Hi. Hi.